the Sith Code. A single unifying code can be derived from the Sith philosophy. The Jedi have a code, and we exiles know it well. We also know it is full of inaccuracies and half-truths. The Sith purebloods require no mantra to remind them how to live. They simply take what they can, kill what they don't need, and use everything to its fullest. They are ruled by the fittest and are a model of what the dark side can achieve. There is knowledge to be gained from their example. If we were to create a Sith code, it must point to the failings of Jedi beliefs while laying bare a path of mastery of the Force. It is plain that fear leads to anger, and anger leads to hate, hatred leads to power, power leads to victory, rage channeled through anger is unstoppable. The common edition of the Codex of Master Simicardi translates the Jedi Code thusly, There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. This code confines its adherence. Peace, serenity, and harmony are restatements of the same thing. The passive acceptance of limitations, the Jedi encourage this. But passion will always defeat peace. As we build our empire here on Zeos, our successors will hold true to the Sith Code. Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion I gain strength. Through strength I gain power. Through power I gain victory. Through victory my chains are broken. The Force shall, shall free me. The Prophecy of the Sithari I know the Jedi myths of Mortis, of a chosen one who will destroy the dark side and bring balance to the Force. The Sith have their own prophecy. Since the times of King Aedas, they are foretold of the coming of the perfect being, the Sithari. The avatar around my neck translates the term as overlord. Yet, it is more accurate to consider the Sithari a god, as the Sith purebloods believe. While some among the Kasi priests deem that the prophecy began and ended with Aedas, many more await the Sithari's return. It has not escaped us that we could claim the Sithari mantle and exert even more power over Sith space. Yet, such a move could backfire. Among the superstitious, not even Angina Paul is so careless. The prophecy of the Sarthari has been passed through the verbal traditions. It is too sacred to be inscribed on a scroll's parchment. From the Kasai, I have learned its essence. The Sithari will be free of limits. The Sithari will lead the Sith and destroy them. The Sithari will raise the Sith from death and make them stronger than before. I admire the first tenant because breaking chains is the essence of the dark side and the foundation of my own Sith code. If improvement through sacrifice and rebirth resonates among these people who prize breeding and alchemy. Though I have never put my faith in far-seeing, I remain convinced the Force called me here. Perhaps I am the Sithari.